shaming the fakers. That's what I want to do today. And maybe just I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> and I want to give you a... I'm just going to give you the audio a little bit of the title here. Crack, 20 metre long, about to collapse. And there it is, the Free Gorges Dam with a massive fake crack into it. And if you just type this into YouTube, you will be amazed. That'd be like 50, 60,000 views. How come? Just don't get it that people fall for this rubbish. Where do they live in La La Land? That's... So have a listen to this. I'm not going to play at all. And then I'll be back. If you skip a minute, then you, you'll get to the conclusion. Heavy rains continue to hit China. On the Three Gorges Dam, there is a crack of more than 20 meters, the risk of breaking the dam at any time. The heavy rain in the past three days in China with rain measured up to 646 millimeters has submerged many major cities. The sudden increase in the water level of the Yangtze River caused the Three Gorges Dam to suffer great water pressure and discharge at full capacity from the night of July 31st. More than one million people were displaced from the area downstream of the Three Gorges Dam. The Chinese military accidentally leaked information. The risk of breaking the Three Gorges Dam at any time after it was operating at full capacity, but there was no sign of flood relief for the upper Yangtze River. Chinese weather officials have issued the highest level of alert for the Yangtze River, its central body of water, as downpours have caused widespread disruptions and power cuts across the region. On August 1, a crack of more than 20 meters long appeared in the Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest dam. The river bank was severely damaged, the dam could break at any time, the Chinese military accidentally revealed information. Believe. The Three Gorges Dam is in a critical condition, badly damaged, causing the CCP a headache when it has not found a way to handle it. They are trying their best to hide this information from the world media. The people's How come it came up with this baloney? Well, a dam in Hedan province did actually have a 20 meter breach. And this is from a news network called France 24, I do believe. And quote here, you can read. On July 20, a 20 meter breach occurred at the dam. The riverbank was severely damaged and the dam may collapse at any time, it said in a statement. So that's what really happened. A smaller dam, you can see the picture here, that has this massive crack because of the situation which happened in central China a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago. I, I've forgotten now. It's just frustrating. I'm sort of thinking why these people do it. Well, money would be the ulterior motive that if you get 56,000 views on for a two to four minute video, you can get, let's say, $300 a day on YouTube if you've been verified. And if people don't report or they don't get flagged, they will just sail along. My, on my channel, the James Neil Cooper channel, I'm showing this on both channels, the Asia channel and the James Neil Cooper channel, the exact same video. The, um, I have been flagged and we, we see what happens. I, I've been flagged before, we see what happens, uh, that suddenly my monetization goes to limited ads. In other words, I get absolutely sweet F.A. Can I say that? But anyhow, I get nothing for it. So I'm thinking, why? Well, as I said just before, money is going to be one thing. Maybe these electronic voices, they can't speak English. And it's supporting the family. But it's a lot of money, you could say. Um, $300, for example, if just for one video on one day that took you 20 minutes to make or 20 minutes to create, blah, blah, blah is, well, let's say the average salary here for a waiter or waitress or a bartender is around about no more than $250 per month. And that's quite a nice salary. But because of COVID, it doesn't really happen here. 
So this could be the possible reason. I got no upset how people make money, but when they do it in a way that is a little bit uh, with disinformation, false information, maybe I can understand. But take these with a grain, a pinch, a sprinkle of salt. And if you want to find out about the Free Gorget Dam, uh, come and ask me. And if I don't know, because I got 28,000 subscribers, I can put the question out on the comments and hopefully that someone will answer who is an engineer or a geologist or a seismologist or whatever who understands it more and can explain it in layman terms. So there we go. As I said, this is coming out on both channels, the James Neal Cooper Show and the Asia News Channel as well. Thank you. Good day. God bless. Be good. Bye-bye. Squeaky chair.